Greetings everyone, I'm once again at the site of Dowerstone, the ruins of an ancient city. And it's a very interesting place. And today I will walk around, film from above, and just mention some brief theories and such. But what's most important about this site is the actual face value of it. And the similarities between the similar sites, specifically the walls that are also in South America the asymmetric megalithic walls. So let's have a look. There are still intact walls, as you can see there, but the site itself is kind of bigger or more spread out. So the first impression are these megalithic blocks that make up the wall. And why is the asymmetric structure good? Well, because it withstands earthquakes and shocks much better. So this city, built by who knows who, was made to last. It wasn't a quick project, it's still standing today. And it was a pretty huge investment. I'll show you some footage from above, of course. But let's just climb up here to quickly show you the valley below. You can imagine that there was water here and ships were coming in and there was traffic and trade. Why is that? Uh, reasonable assumption because there are other sites like these which are in ruins and in even more ruins than this site and they are not even marked or researched so the other sites like one near Mostar it's pretty much sort of rumblish like that part over there and you can sort of see the wall structure beneath but this one is pretty intact and it's an official kind of destination if you're visiting Stolats. Today I'm visiting like midday, it's pretty warm. There's some wind so it's not really that horrible, but it's pretty warm. I mean, it's really hot. Well, you can see I'm walking on destroyed rock blocks. And from above, I will try to record the size of the kind of destruction or demolition because when you look from above you can see that the rumble here could not have been caused by say an earthquake uh, stone just doesn't get pulverized like that and that's just observing face value and you know no IDs or fantasy bits involved so walking down here, I should rather say gliding down here. We can see that there was more to this site and that it, that it was spread out even to this area see the blocks over there in the ground so how much is hidden beneath the earth and rumble we do not know and it's a really good defensive site too because you have a good overview there are the stairs let's go and have a look at them the main theory or the mainstream theory is that back in the days this area was inhabited by people called the Dowersi. And that is based on a coin found here that said Dowersi. So that's why the scholars gave this area or the people who inhabited this place the name Dowersi or yeah, and so on. And that's why this place is called Dowerson. So you can see, imagine that the stairs like this would have gone down to something like here or further down and 
if some of the claims are true that once there was a, you know, I wouldn't say like an ocean, but let's say sort of like a fjord here, stretching all the way up there. This coincides pretty good with um, other sites like this found in the region. And this site has officially been explored by scholars once. It was like in the 60s in what was then called Yugoslavia. And that's it. So nobody is actually actively researching the site. And there is not much tourism here. You know, few people come and visit this place. There is no entrance fee and such. And that's kind of good that it's so remote because that means that people won't come here and you know, destroy and just be um, trashy. So the site is pretty remote and um, interesting for anybody who likes to explore and enjoy the ambience of, um, of ancient sites. Now that's a beautiful spider's web, really deep down there. You can see there. Well, that's just a side note. Let's go back up here. And let's go and have a closer look at the walls. You see it's really tight fit. So this could have been the external or the internal wall. It could wall and it could have been something um, over it. Who knows? You see that block over there? You can see how massive it is. You can see how wide this one is. So here you get an idea of how thick the walls were. Amazing. And if we look a bit from above, you can see how thick this one is. And this one actually doesn't end over there. It kind of stretches all the way beneath the smaller one over there. Incredible. It's an amazing sight. And that shape up there looks pretty interesting. I don't know if that's original or not. Um, so once again, you know, sites like these have been visited and looted. And I think um, people might have kind of come here and broke down stone and used it for something maybe for walls back in the days when they were like bordering up their lands for the animals and and such as you can see there are stones and even megaliths scattered around here Once again, more parts of the bigger structure and more valleys where there probably could have been water. Maybe the fjord kind of went in there and ended somewhere there because, you know, the mountains are over there. And yeah, just for the orientation, I forgot over there we have the ocean. Have a look at this. You see over there? More construction remains. And you can see the kind of gravel or destroyed or broken down stones falling down. And over here you can see how it kind of winds up over there and over that to that side. How this place looked originally, we can only guess. And here we can observe a piece of the wall or construction. Now my guess is that people over the hundreds and hundreds of years have come here and taking chunks of stone and use for whatever 
their needs were but over there you can see a huge block pretty amazing well not much is known about the Illyrian people that used to live here they uh, got defeated in the end by the Roman army uh, once there was a big uprising here in um, what is now in pa uh, the parts around Zenitsa in central Bosnia where a big big revolt happened against the Romans and they had to send in big armies by um, Bathinus Bato and you know still to this day people have the word Bato you know you can be a little Bato a little rebel a little rascal because the legend remains still but much of that history has been kind of ignored because um, countries like you know in England you have like Bodasia in Germany you have um, oh I forgot the name of that um, guy who revolted against the Romans but people make good history and good research they make movies but from these parts since nobody's kind of like putting an effort into it it's kind of lost but it is a huge part of the history. This site and sites like this are uh, still a mystery. There are many theories, many assumptions. But what I, what I like to do is to visit them, feel the vibe, and just have a look at the face of face value. Like, what's here? How does it look? You know. Then afterwards, one can kind of like search for more information and such. But the first impression, the first uh, uh, associations you get, you know, it's it can tell you a lot. You can see that they actually tampered with the site. You see these kind of futile blocks, but you can see the difference between those. I mean, that's what of stone houses are made of back in the days here and here you can see the more original work so when they tampered with the site during the one and only official research they wanted to create a fake gate here and they did that also on this side because this part here is also fake you see mortar naturally this wall kind of going straight this way and if we look on this side we find more yeah tampering and looking inside here we can see another block which seems a bit odd or something it's pretty neatly cut so yeah more mortar This seems to be original and it might have been a gate here but it surely didn't look like this and it's always a bad choice to kind of tamper with the site like this and add on. And of course same here. just want to show you the other side you can see it's been broken down what they did was to build into the mountain with the megaliths and create a city I mean city by what we refer to ancients ancient cities and what's amazing about this is that there are many sites like this in the world which are kind of omitted you know there's not that many resources and people interested in to to explore 
Um, I've seen him from all over the world. But today we can all visit sites and you know record videos and show it to other people. Enough of me talking. I'm gonna enjoy the site now, enjoy the magic of it. Take some more photos and footage. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you saw something interesting. Thank you for watching and all the best. <laughs>